Welcome to Netlink Daily. Never been here before? Well, let you tell me what's in store. We've got lightning rounds, quick bits, and tech news galore. Don't fret, don't sweat, but stay tuned for more. Wrote that myself. Obviously, because it's really cheesy. NVIDIA has relaunched their Shield tablet. If you recall, a few months ago, the company recalled a whole lot of tablets due to battery fire hazard issues. The new version of the tablet has a few minor cosmetic changes, like the back logo is now a brushed metal finish instead of glossy, and the speakers on the side are now covered with a rubberized grip surface. But perhaps the biggest difference is what's missing. There will be no stylus, USB charger, or USB cable. NVIDIA's reasoning behind this is that most people will have a spare cable and charger lying around, so so they're covered there. As for the stylus, you can still buy it as an additional accessory for $20. The new tablet is priced at $199. Big news for PC Gaming Gear esports organization Fnatic has started to make their own peripherals. That's right, in a recent press release, Fnatic announced they would be making their own gaming gear including two mouse pads called Focus and Boost, a mouse called Flick, and a mechanical keyboard using Cherry MX switches called Rush. Fnatic has acquired peripheral company Funk to make all of these. They've also started an Indiegogo campaign to connect with the community. Now, if you are interested, links will be in the sources below, but I have to say the pricing seems really reasonable. I wonder if they'll make a headset. What do you guys think of the new Fnatic gear? Leave a comment down below. And in music streaming news, Pandora has acquired Audio for $75 million. Pandora has been more of a radio style playback service, but with this acquisition, Pandora hopes to offer a more expanded listening experience with on-demand playback. This certainly will make Pandora more of a competitor to Apple Music, Spotify, Google Play Music, you get the idea. The deal is set to finish up in early 2016. Dudes and dudettes, it's time for bim 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 bim! Lightning round. A Kickstarter campaign called Figment VR is making VR slash AR viewing cases for iPhones. The viewer pops up from the back of the case and uses scratch resistant lenses. Apple Pay has finally made its way to the north in Canada, but only for people with American Express. Great. You can use Apple Pay at such stores as Tim Hortons, McDonald's, and more. And speaking of Apple, rumors are floating around cyberspace saying that the iPhone 6C is set for mid-2016 launch. Cause who doesn't want a plastic iPhone, right? <sighs> More phone rumors, the Samsung S7 could have a 4K screen with either a Snapdragon 820 or Exynos 8890 chip, and we could see it launched in February 2016. And researchers at the University of Washington may have found a way to make lasers cool things off instead of heating things up. Imagine, a few years from now, laser-cooled CPU heat sinks. Ooh. Ah. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCIX forum link down in the description. It's morphin' time! Tyrannosaurus! What's that? NCIX is having exclusive deals right up until Black Friday, starting today? No way! That's 10 whole days worth of deals and exclusives refreshed daily? What? Savings can go up to 40%, that's more horrific. Click here for today's Canadian deals or here for American deals and check back every day until Black Friday for a different deal every day. Or check the link below for more. Whew. Savings, Black Friday. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos. Follow us on Twitter over here. But as always, don't forget to like the video, comment for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go steal more of Keys' cookies that his wife made. She made it with score candy bars. It's just, they're delicious.